Hello and welcome to the Excellent English Club. Today's topic is parts of a speech. Okay, so let's start. How many parts of a speech are there in English? Look here. There are eight parts of a speech in English. And number nine is article. Some people include article also in the parts of speech. Basically, we have eight parts of speech, but sometimes we add article also in the parts of speech. Now look here. Look at the following sentence. The old man was sitting at the airport and seriously thinking about his family. Alas, you will see that I have intentionally put different colors for different word okay why because i will identify parts of speech with the help of colors okay look at this table in this table you will see that i have divided all these words which are there in the sentence according to the grammatical function of these words or you can say according to the parts of speech the first column you will see that which is in green color articles as we know that we have definite and indefinite articles these are the definite articles which are used in two places in this sentence second thing is adjectives old is an adjective okay and then the third one is noun okay in the noun column you will have three nouns in this sentence what are these three nouns man airport family Okay, in column number four, that is verb, in verb column, you will have was, sitting and thinking. Was, sitting and thinking, any yani three verbs are used in a sentence. The fifth one is preposition. Two prepositions are used in this sentence, that is at and about. In the next column, conjunction. We have only one conjunction in the sentence that is and. We know that what is conjunction. Conjunction means a word which joins two sentences or two words or two phrases. That is conjunction. Then adverb, which modifies a verb. Okay, what is an adver adverb? Modifies a verb. That is seriously. Okay, means the verb, the action, how action is going on. Action is going on seriously. He is thinking seriously. Then pronoun. What is a pronoun? As I told you in the previous video, that pronoun is a word which is used in place of noun. Then the last one is interjection. Interjection means surprising. Anything surprising. Okay. It may be very happy or sadness or sudden surprise. That is interjections and whenever you see interjection you will have a sign of exclamation that is one straight line then a dot one straight line and a dot okay that is interjection so these are the words which are which i have divided according to the parts of speech so we have eight parts of speech and one article which we consider number nine okay Second thing which I'm going to discuss today is parts of a sentence. How many parts are there in a sentence? Okay, look here. There are two basic parts of a sentence. How many? Two basic parts of a sentence. Look, what are these two? Look here, sentence, then subject and predicate. We have two parts. One is subject, the other one is predicate. Now how you will recognize it, let me tell you. First thing, subject, the subject of a sentence is the person, place or thing that performs the action. A person, a place or a thing which performs the action. For example, if I say, Ram is playing. What is he doing? He is playing. Ram is playing. So what is, who is Ram? Ram is a subject. The rest of the part is, is playing predicate. So any noun, 
name of the place, name of the person, name of the thing, all these nouns will be a subject. Okay? So subject, look at the example, a noun or a pronoun like John, man, car, Bombay, he, she, it, they, anything which is noun or a pronoun that is subject. Understand? Now look the second one. What is second one? Predicate. The predi predicate expresses action or being within the sentence. What is predicate? Which tells us the action or being, what is going on in the sentence. That is predicate. Look at the example. Verb, words, phrases, clauses. All these things are predicate. For example, the woman takes a picture. The woman, subject, takes a picture, predicate. Understand? What is subject? What is predicate? So we can say that we have only two part of a sentence. One is subject, the other one is predicate. Don't be confused with the parts of a speech. Parts of a speech are different thing and part of a sentence is different. Okay? We have nine parts of a speech, we can say, or we have only two part of a sentence. Right? Look here. Basic sentence structure. Number one. He is a tall man. He is a subject. Is a tall man? Predicate. Second example. We were busy when you called. We were busy when you called. So we is a subject. The rest of the part of the sentence is predicate. Next point. My father is a doctor. My father is a doctor. My father is a subject. Is a doctor? Predicate. The bus is going to Delhi. The bus is a subject. Is going to Delhi? Predicate. All the customers have left the mall. All the customers. Here, all the customers, subject, have left the mall, predicate. Look at the example again. Some more examples. Mr. Mohan is our family doctor. Mr. Mohan is our family doctor. What is the subject in this sentence? Mr. Mohan. Look here. Mr. Mohan is a subject. Is our family doctor? Predicate. Our school's principal? Subject. From Bombay? Is from Bombay? Predicate. Next sentence. David and John are in the same class. David and John are in the same class. So David and John. What is this? Subject. Are in the same class? Predicate. Okay. One more example. Raja and I go to school together. Again, Raja and I, subject, look here, go to school together, predicate. The last one is, the vegetables in our market are fresh. Here, the vegetables in our market, this is subject, are fresh, predicate. Look here, the vegetables in our market are fresh. So this is subject and predicate. Now you can easily understand what is subject and what is predicate. So in this video I told you parts of speech. As I told you there are eight parts of speech. And number nine is article. What are these? Noun, pronoun, verb, adverb, adjective, preposition, conjunction, and interjections. These are eight parts of a speech plus article number nine. After that I told you how many parts of a sentence. So I told you there are two parts of a sentence. One is subject. Subject means any noun. Predicate means the rest of the part after the noun, after the subject is predicate. Okay. Now I will give you one exercise. Okay. Which you have to do yourself. You will have to Underline the subject and 
circle the predicate in these sentences look at exercise number one look here these are the sentences I am reading for you I ate dinner Sita came to dinner with us Ramesh is an engineer Lalita and I have many cars he loves to eat fish we all felt like we ate too much all the places in Mexico are very nice would you like to travel with me I love learning computer is a very smart machine these are the sentences you will have to underline the subject and circle the predicate in these sentences okay then you will easily understand what is subject what is predicate thank you very much Bye.